Hi EYFS, as part of your maths learning this week, I'd really like you to have a go at some addition games and activities at home. We've done a little bit of adding at school and you might remember this sign, the add sign. Um, I'll show you a few different things you can do at home and see how you get on. So for this activity, you need a handy coat hanger. I've added on the add sign as well, just to remind me and keep me thinking about this sign because I'll use this later when I write up what happened in a number sentence. Now I'm using dice today. That's what you just heard rattling. If you don't have dice at home, don't worry because you can easily make yourself some number cards. Right, I'm gonna roll my two dice and let's see what we get. Ah, so it's landed on six and I've also got four. So I'm going to start by using some pegs. Now I've chosen two different pegs today. I've got blue pegs and green pegs. It's really helpful if you can use two different colours. So I'm going to put the first number from when I rolled the dice, the six, onto the coat hanger first. So I'm going to count out six blue pegs. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And you probably guessed it already. I'm going to add on my four green pegs onto the opposite side. One, two, three, and four. Now the great thing about using the coat hanger, you can just about see me hiding behind the pegs there, is that you can slide along the pegs to find the total. So I've got my six blue here and my four green here. I'm going to slide those along so they're all together now. Now I already know there's six blue, so instead of counting from one, I'm going to see if I can count on from six. Six, that's that blue peg because there's six all together here. Seven, eight, nine, ten. You might have guessed that if you were been practicing your number ones to ten in the last few weeks as well. Right, now I'm going to show you how you would write that as a number sentence using this add calculation sign. So we started with six blue pegs and then we added four green pegs and I've written equals because now I'm going to write the total. So my six blue pegs and my four green pegs have been pushed together so that they are all together to show me the total of 10 pegs. This is an addition machine which you can make at home. To start with you need a cardboard box. Inside the box you need to make two tubes that you can add your objects in. Um, you can use toilet rolls or if you don't have any loo rolls at home you can just roll up some pieces of card or paper instead. You might also want a whiteboard or a piece of paper to hand so you can have a go at recording what happens in the addition machine. Next, roll two dice or choose two number cards to find out how many objects are going to go into the addition machine. I've rolled six and three. One, two, three, four, five, six in the first tube. One, two, three in the next. Now I'm going to record what happened in the addition machine. So I put six bottle tops into the first tube and then I added three more into the second tube. Now let's find out the total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So six bottle tops and three more equals 
9. You could also show this as a part part whole model. So my two parts, I had 6 and 3 and that means my whole was 9. And here is the part part whole model but with the numerals or the numbers instead and the number sentence is at the bottom. This is a game of Skittles. To make Skittles at home, you will need six plastic or paper cups that you can draw and write on. You'll also need a ball. You can use any type of ball. I'm playing this game inside though, so I've decided to roll up a piece of paper to use as a ball instead. You will need to write and draw the numbers one to six. On one side, you could write the numeral or number and if it helps on the other side you could draw the number a bit like you would see on a dice. Then set out your skittles into a triangle shape and get ready to see how many you can knock down. I knocked down the numbers 5, 3 and 1. I'm going to look at the numbers or the numerals on the back of the cups to help me record my number sentence. 5 add 3 add 1 equals 9. I counted the dots on the back of my skittles to help me find the total. Now that I've had a go, I could let a friend have a turn too. Whoever has the highest number and the highest score will be the winner.